Ariana Grande's Eternal Sunshine era is almost here. Nicki tries to bring the funny to Gag City, Quest Love's got Sexy Red's back, and Beyonce breaks the charts yet again. And explain Wim's Group of the Year New Jeans' success. Plus, we highlight some amazing black women making moves in the music industry. Happy Wednesday, music lovers. I'm Tetris. This is Billboard News, and we have all your music tea to sip on February 21st. I'm so excited to talk about some of my fave K-pop groups, but before we get to that, we must talk news, starting with Miss Yes And. Ariana Grande is set to take the SNL stage after revealing some of her new track list. A Hot 100 number one, a remix with Mariah, and an SNL performance announcement. Ariana's next era isn't even officially here, and she's already dominating. For those that can't wait to hear the track names before Eternal Sunshine drops on March 8th, Ariana revealed them, kind of, censoring the titles with beeps. And if you love Yes And, Ariana says there's even better tracks to come, comparing the new track to Thank You Next. It's not obvious. But it's also like, it's kind of like the thank you next um, formula, if you will, because it's like, thank you next came first because it had to. Yeah, mm -hmm. even though Seven Rings is a bigger record. And Break Up With Your Girlfriend. Which tracks are you most excited to hear, and what do you think the next single will be? Let us know in the comments. It's a busy time to be Ari, it's also a busy time to be a music news reporter. Here are three stories you should know today. Can y'all hit up Cat Williams? and ask him what would be his price to be a part of the Pink Friday 2 Gag City Tour. Nicki Minaj asked the Barbs on IG Live to help get Cat Williams to join her on tour because... He's the funniest man in showbiz. Now, what exactly does a comedian do on tour with the Queen of Rap? Well, we're a little over a week away from the Pink Friday 2 World Tour starting, and I have no idea what to expect. Another rap girly is making news. Sexy Red was announced as one of the performers at Roots Pitnick in Philadelphia, and when the comment section was flooded with hate, Questlove, who hosts the event, responded saying, there is always that one act on the show everyone hates because it serves as a reminder the hip hop they like is from 30 years ago. I mean, I get it, but look, we got around and balanced the day out. I mean, come on, even if Sexy Red isn't your cup of tea, the Roots Picnic lineup is stacked. I know you want to put your hands on your knees. Hands on your knees. Shake that ass for Drake. Now shake that ass for me. From rap to country, Beyonce has gone and broken more records on our charts. Texas Hold'em debuted at number one on the High Country Songs chart. This makes her the first black woman to top that particular chart. This adds a seventh Billboard Multimetric song chart she's held a number one spot on as a solo artist. She's conquered the Hot 100, Hot Country Songs, Hot Dance Electronic, Hot Gospel Songs, Hot Latin Songs, Hot R&B Songs, and Hot R&B Hip Hop Songs. And with the song debuting at number two on the Hot 100, this song and act seem to be unstoppable, and I'm here for it. Today, we're giving you all the info on our Women in Music honorees, New Jeans. New Jeans is just getting started on the Billboard charts, but the K-pop group has made quite an entrance. And that's why they are Billboard's Women in Music Group of the Year. This is Billboard Explains, New Jeans Fast Rise Up the Charts. In just a few short years, the girl group has dominated the Billboard charts with five songs on the Hot 100, all in 2023, including Super Shy, which peaked at number 48, and ETA at number 81 on the chart. They have also made a steady climb up the Billboard Global 200 with three top 10 hits, Super Shy, Ditto, and OMG. And if that's not enough, they charted a number one album on the Billboard 200 with their second EP, Get Up. New Jeans has proven that they are here for the long haul and earned their Group of the Year honor. It is Black History Month, and we've been having so much fun introducing you to some of the industry's best movers and shakers. Check out this amazing family tea. I love you so much.
for Black History Month, Billboard is celebrating by highlighting some of the greatest black executives in music. And today we're celebrating Masa David and Miata Johnson. The sibling duo who are repping Liberia founded the boutique creative agency MVD with the goal to amplify black storytelling. And they do it by producing and creating some of the most imaginative music industry events. You would recognize their notable work with Kanye West, throwing some of his biggest listening parties and more. Their events always highlight the excellence in black culture, as shown when they produced the Recording Academy's inaugural Black Music Collective Ceremony at Resorts World Las Vegas, where they honor John Legend and more. And just this year, the event saw them create beauty on Grammy weekend, with stars packing in the elaborate soiree that was honoring Lenny Kravitz, Mariah Carey, and more. The pair has said culture is our pulse and keeps us inspired. And you inspire us, which is why this month we honor you. And that's it for Hump Day. Come back tomorrow when we discuss another Women in Music honoree of ours, Ice Spice. I'm Tetris Kelly and this is Billboard News.